Hello, uh, welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about binge eating. I assume anyone watching this has an issue or maybe is just curious to learn what is binge eating. It is where you eat excessively and you know you're full and you know you don't need the food but you cannot help yourself. With some foods you get fully addicted. I watched something the other day about flaming hot Cheetos. We have something equivalent and they are very nice, I'll admit, the Watsits baked flaming hot. Um, these were so addictive that they banned them in schools because ki kids were having like several packs, big bags a day and going to hospital. Um, I don't know what exactly happened to them that they had to go to hospital, but let's be honest, you can't get fat eating apples. You can't get fat eating bananas. Y you're not going to. It's just not how it works. There are no obese people from before the Industrial Revolution where all these foods started cropping up in supermarkets. I say foods, they're not foods, and this is what we need to get in our minds. When you're eating Pringles and you can't stop just having one more and one more and oh god, the pack's gone. Done it again. You have to recognise it's not food. That ain't a potato anymore, is it? If you look at the ingredients list, it should just be a potato and some salt and oil to make a crisp. Walkers, for example, not as bad. Still got oil in and like trans fats, whatever. But there's scales to how bad some of this stuff is. A can of Coke. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? I forget how much sugar it's got in, but it's ridiculous. Like 40 grams, 50 grams. A lot of the uh, leaders in telling you what you should and shouldn't eat will say you shouldn't have more than 30 grams of added sugar a day. You have a can of Coke, which a lot of people do. You've had more than you should just in that alone. And you're going to have more, let's be honest. And for me, I do like a Pepsi or a Coke Zero, Pepsi Max. Oh, but there's no sugar. Yeah, but artificial sweeteners, they're not good for you either. It's very easy, really. If you just look at it in terms of what did God create or the universe or like the world, what is naturally created for us to eat and what's not. Most of what I've been eating and probably you that didn't come out of a fucking plant, did it? Didn't come out of the ground. Shouldn't be eating it then. And we know this, but when you're in that cycle of like having a McDonald's every week, you want a McDonald's every week. You crave it. It tastes good. I'm not going to lie. It tastes fucking amazing, dude. I mean, I don't know if I'd say amazing. It's a McDonald's, but you know what you're getting with a McDonald's, don't you? A burger. <laughs> Normally, who's going in there ordering a wrap or a salad? No one's going into McDonald's ordering a salad, surely. That would be mental. But, um, yeah, all this food's shit, man. It's fucking, it's not food. And I watched a documentary the other day. Well, it was, it was kind of a short documentary. The guy that's written a book that's quite popular called Ultra Processed People had done a self-experiment where every day for a month he ate nothing but processed foods ultra processed foods which essentially means it had to be made in a uh laboratory as such like pringles as opposed to something that might have a couple of added ingredients that might be sort of processed but isn't that bad um like ben and jerry's ice cream ultra processed obviously so he's eating mixed stuff and to be honest i was looking at what he was eating and i was thinking is that that bad? It's pretty much what I eat most of the time. I mean, he's having a lot of microwavable meals and stuff, which I don't have. My biggest issue is definitely snacks. Like, I just love chocolate so much and sweets and stuff and big bags of crisps. But the, the problem is buying them in the first place. Just don't do it because, like, I can't control myself around it. I can't have, like, one cookie in a pack of five and leave. I'll have one tomorrow and one the next. No, I'm going to have, like, five in two days. That happens every time. So I have to have to realise that and not allow myself to have that kind of food around often. I think every now and then, it's okay. Some people would disagree and say you should never have it. You should never have takeaways. You shouldn't go to restaurants because you don't know what you're eating. But I mean, we want to live a little bit, don't we? But if you're having that kind of stuff every day, like I have been, like a chocolate bar every day and bag of sweets every day, it's like, it's not good, is it? Getting older. My metabolism ain't what it used to be, and as you get older, you're going to be more prone to getting diabetes and different health problems. And diabetes, I think a lot of people underestimate, like, what it is. Like, oh, is it, you just inject yourself with insulin. Yeah, you can do, but you might also go blind and have limbs cut off and get infections and shit, so it ain't great. 
But anyway, I watched this guy and what was interesting to me was he'd gone from having an 80% sort of healthy diet where he'd have a little bit of junk like most people do to 100% junk. And within a couple of days, he said he was waking up feeling hungover, exhausted, no energy, hadn't slept well. That's me every day. And I've just assumed that's the way it's got to be. Maybe it's because of my diet, at least partly. I think there's other factors like stress, burnout, whatnot. But food is our fuel. And a lot of the stuff we're eating, again, I have to reiterate, is not food. And so you're not fueling yourself, you're killing yourself. Slowly, but surely. And I know that um, people with eating disorders might have a bit of a problem with saying all oh, foods are bad or good. But some foods are bad, let's just be honest. They are. A Mars bar, it's not good, is it? Oh, but it makes you feel a bit better. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to rely on some artificial bullshit to make yourself feel better. Have an apple. Have a bit of melon. Have something exotic, like a little papaya, mate. Way better for you. I think part of the issue as well now, and this is compounded by how the uh, economy is at the moment and all the problems we've had post-COVID and because of the war affecting, you know, fuel costs and that. Cost of living is just insane, isn't it? I would eat a salad every day. I'd eat really exotic food every day, but it's unaffordable. But I've used that as an excuse. I've gone, oh, I have to eat biscuits because they're the only cheap thing now. But it's not true. You can get like a pack of five bananas for a quid, pack of six apples often for under a pound when you get them in offer. Shop about, go to different places, pick up stuff. Avocados aren't that expensive. Nuts, it can be a little bit more pricey than, say, crisps. But how much do you value your health? Like, how, how important is it to you to feel good and not get diseases in the future? It's different in America, obviously, because I know that they have health insurance and have to pay up front for medical care as opposed to the NHS if you can actually see a doctor anymore without waiting for like a year. Ultimately, though, my point is you could pay a lot further down the line a lot more money than it's going to cost you to, to eat right. And it shouldn't be this all or nothing attitude, which I often have, where it's like, well, I can't afford to eat well, so I'll just eat shit all the time. Eat healthy most of the time. Like, swap out a few of your foods. foods. If you find it overwhelming, like, oh, I, can't, I couldn't just cut everything out and eat whole foods. That would be torture and boring. Like, what would be the point in living if I couldn't enjoy the foods I like, like pizza and burgers and whatever? Well, maybe have a pizza once a week. And then the other meal is you're having, like, fish and vegetables and nuts and seeds and olives. And there's lots of stuff. When I say vegetables, there's a lot of different vegetables, man. Learn to cook. Like, I need to do that as well. But at the moment, I rely on Ellen cooking for me. And luckily, she's quite into... She's at the gym currently. So she's quite into trying to be healthy. But I say healthy because she isn't a meat eater. We've been eating quite a lot of Beyond Meat. And I know a lot of people say that stuff is terrible because it's full... The amount of oil that comes off those burgers. I mean, you could say the same for normal burgers as well. Normal. For normal people who aren't vegans. But, um... It's, yeah, it's not great, man. I've been eating a lot of the minced meat, Beyond Meat, mixed in food. And it tastes quite nice, to be fair. But again, it's just like it's made in a laboratory. They had to, like, experiment making it. That and food. It's just not. But the most of the other stuff in the dish is quite healthy. We've got, like, carrots in there, courgettes. Uh, what's the, like, emoji for a penis? Not a gherkin. The purple one. Can't remember what it's... Aubergine. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Can't remember. Can't remember the name of that food, but I think it's an aubergine. <laughs> anyway, another thing I noticed, and that should be obvious to you, but maybe like sometimes we don't have that uh, perspective on ourselves, like an outside point of view would, where they can look in and go, well, you're doing this to yourself. You're making yourself really unwell. You're like, oh, I just feel tired all the time. There's no reason for it. But I was watching Super Size versus Super Skinny. I watched a couple episodes and you might know the show, but they take a really overweight person who's like... um. 500 pounds or something crazy and you know they're just dressed in underwear and you feel sorry for them because it's not a good look i know there are some people that want to spread fat acceptance but let's be honest a lot of those people are really fat themselves and they don't accept themselves they're just in denial they're fed up of trying different diets and not being able to get better that they become just sort of victims to it and and blame society and go you're just we should be able to eat what I want. I should be able to eat a whole cake without your judgment. So like, I'm not judging you. Well, everyone judges a bit, but you're not accepting yourself, are you? Let's just be honest about it. 
But on the other scale, the super skinny person, they're not healthy either. Some of them are like, I just don't know why I can't put on weight. I'm counting my almonds, I'm eating 20 a day. You're counting almonds. That's a sign. And you're eating about 800 calories a day. And you, you can't realise that, but some people really lack that self-awareness. There was one guy, he looked, uh, he was quite a good looking chap. Had some cool tattoos. Didn't look overly skinny. He was eight stone, so he was very skinny, but he didn't look like super anorexic. But the way he was eating, dude, was so fucking weird. He was having like six energy drinks a day. That was most of what he was having. And then he had plain pasta, plain pasta, cooked him all aboard. Oh, I'm gonna eat this penne with nothing, no sauce, nothing, like literally fuck all. So it's quite funny. The funniest part of that show, I think, is where they swap diets and they're eating across the table from one another. And this woman who's got three plates full of takeaway swaps that out and has a drink of energy drink. She's like, this is it. And th obviously the other person's like, where the fuck's all... I mean, why, why do you eat so much? How can you eat all of this? This is insane. And obviously they're both wrong. Um, but what was interesting to me, I don't remember if it was that episode that I'm thinking of or a different one, it doesn't really matter, but... It was the fact that a woman couldn't even go to a supermarket and walk around because she had no energy. I'm thinking, you have no energy. You just consume 6,000 calories. You should have loads of energy. So that's that's very important to me personally because, uh, yeah, my biggest issue is being tired often. And I've definitely gone more downhill lately over the last few years. And I definitely have um, felt more inflamed Meaning, like, I'm achy a lot. My muscles and joints ache. I'm I'm not that old, dude. Like, this shouldn't be a problem yet. And it's I'm doing it to myself, and I realise that now. And so I have the motivation to stop doing this shit. Because I want to be healthy. I want to be able to go running or join a gym and know that I'd be able to cope with it. I want to feel like a normal, functioning human being instead of just dragging myself through life every day, hating my existence and, and wishing I could just die in my sleep because life is so shit. That's how bad it's got for me. So I'm going to I'm gonna look at labels more. For example, if I am buying something that isn't a whole food, like bread, I'm not going to get the white bread with hardly any fibre and added sugar and all these E numbers. I'm going to get like sourdough. Yes, it's more expensive, but I don't fucking care anymore. I'm going to prioritise eating well. If I have to cut back on my spending in other ways, can't go to restaurants as much, that kind of stuff, then so be it. If I can't save as much a month towards a mortgage then so be it. I need to eat pretty well. I don't need to eat crisps every day. I don't need to have like processed snack bars every day just for convenience. I can have nuts. I can have, again, more different types of fruit. And I know fruit can be high in sugar. Definitely stuff like raisins and dried fruits can be a little bit naughty. But um, if you're eating like a banana or an apple or an orange, there's loads of fiber in there. So you're not getting the same ridiculous sugar rush where you're going to crash and you're going to feel like just hungry all of the time because your blood sugar's dropped and you're like, oh my god, I need to eat, I'm going to fucking kill somebody. Which is my daily experience. Like, I can get so hungry. I'm like, I only ate three hours ago, but I, I could eat one of these people right now. I'm going to fucking kill somebody. You know what I mean, though? When you're that hangry that you would do anything for food. That ain't normal. That is a lack of protein, lack of fiber, too much sugar, and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, I think. Um, let me know, I don't know, what, what your eating habits are like and how you hope to change. But I think for the majority, what I'm going to be doing is breakfast, oatmeal with chia seeds, maybe some blueberries in there, a bit of cinnamon powder, maybe a, a dash of honey, but not loads. And again, I'll be looking at the honey going, is this just honey or they add loads of shit to it? Obviously, I know they have to preserve food sometimes, so you're going to get stuff like absorbic acid to stop it moulding, which is fair. I don't want mouldy honey, do we? Um, but that'll be my breakfast, if not sourdough with maybe avocado and tomatoes on. For lunch, salad or, or again, maybe, maybe a sandwich, but I've been having like a lot of Marmite on toast or peanut butter on toast. It's just, again... I need to, it's because I've been conditioning myself to watch a lot of vegan content again. I used to be vegan for several years and I feel like guilty for eating animals. But sometimes, I don't know, I feel like it's probably what we're supposed to eat as humans based on our anatomy and that. As opposed to, oh, tofu is so bland, is it fucking rank? As opposed to a corpse, is what the vegan would say. 
Um, and then snacks, again, mixed fruits, different nuts, dinner, whatever Ellen cooks me, but hopefully less beyond meat, uh, legumes. I probably will start having a little bit of meat again because I've not been having any like at all apart from in a sandwich here and there. Um, and I don't think Ellen will want to eat it, even though her, her iron is ridiculously low and she's got a few issues that she needs to try and resolve herself. She just, she hasn't eaten meat in so long now that I don't think she could do it. I think it's been like 12 years for her. Again, fish is meat, but people have like levels to it. And she's like, oh, I'll eat a bit of cod, but she can't eat chicken or, or, or beef. She just won't do it. So yeah, I'm tired kind of. Um, I hope that as time goes on, if I can stick to this, which I really do want to do, that I will be less tired and I'll have more energy to do videos and play video games and read and play guitar because lately, man, I just like no energy at all to do anything. But thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you later. Goodbye.